Okay, I'm back on site on my uh, gate series install and we're gonna get some stuff installed in this enclosure today. Hey there, how are you today? If you're new to the channel, I'm Sean with Accent Alarms. I have about 25 years experience designing, installing, and servicing quality long-lasting automatic gate systems. By automatic gate system, I mean I work on gates, gate operators, cameras, access control, and wired and wireless connectivity. And I've recently added video production to the list of things I do. I'd love to get your feedback, good or bad, down in the comments section, and please take a second to click on that subscribe button. It really helps us out when you do. Keep your head on a swivel and be safe out there. Here I am collecting some text number threes. Uh, they're number 10 self-tapping screw, and I really like these things. They've got a tensile strength of 1,900 pounds, just slightly over. After this, I'm going to grab some flat washer to help support my bin rail and channeling. I'm going to give you a little warning here. This didn't work out the way I expected it. This time-lapse video only works if the camera's standing still. Here I'm marking my channel. Measure twice, cut once, right? Pan to it a channel cutter there. Again, I apologize for the video. Time-lapse only works if your camera's stationary. Lesson learned. Now I'm getting ready. I'm going to mount these. I've got two vertical pieces and four horizontal going in. Here I'm just going to compare the two screws side by side. Almost would have to pause it to really see. But I've seen guys use those smaller sheet metal self-tapping screws to mount this channel with. And it just pulls off. Here I'm uh, taking some Velcro that I'll use as a hook and loop to make my cable stay in place afterwards. Putting the Velcro behind the screws like that is a nice little trick. Kind of keeps your wires all lined up even though they're inside that channel with the cover on afterwards. Kind of keeps it really clean looking. You can see I'm moving on to my horizontal pieces here. Same practice. Self-tappers, those Tech 3s with a washer, really supports that channel, keeps it from pulling off and bowing. Got to keep it level. I've seen guys uh, do this in the shop, and what happens is sometimes they'll mount the panel crooked afterwards. It kind of gives it a funny look. I'd speed this up for you, but it really gives you a, a crazy effect to having the time lapse. It's like you're riding a roller coaster. So again, I apologize and uh, we'll mark it down as a lesson learned. Now I'm sticking the last vertical piece up, putting Velcro on that side as well. Getting ready to mount some DIN rail, and you can see I got my metal chop saw out again. I've tried a bunch of different methods for cutting this DIN rail. If you've come up with a good way to cut it that doesn't leave sharp edges, Go ahead and let me know down in the comments section. I'd really appreciate it. Here I'm cutting a second piece. Here I am mounting it. I like to use those same Tech 3 screws, self-tapping screws. And I like to put a washer in there too. We put a pretty big Cisco switch on here. 
uh, not that big, but I don't want that DIN rail falling off. Now I've moved on to installing my uh, heater. I like to get this thing pre-wired too. It's kind of hard to get your little tweaker up in there to feed those wires in there after the fact. Now I'm grabbing some ring terminals for my grounds. These are some little lightning suppressors, surge protectors if you will. Transsector is the model and I like to ground those each down to a ground bus at the bottom of the enclosure. Now I'm wiring up my secondary thermostat. I'll talk about that a little more later. I'm going to center punch these for my standoffs. This is where my open options SSP D2 was going to get mounted. I'm not going to install it today, but I want to get the standoffs in. My automatic center punch is wearing out. Maybe a little graphite on there will help it, but... Here I'm just going to drill out the holes before I run my uh, tap through. It is one of those taps that does drill and tap, but this back plate is too thick to do that. I like to use some cutting oil, it makes my bits last longer and gives me a little cleaner cut. Let's speed this up though, everyone knows how to drill a hole, right? It's key that you keep them level though. Now it's time to run the tap through. It goes through here like butter since it's pre-drilled and got cutting oil on there. Just run it in and out each hole. Now we're just going to wipe all that uh, cutting oil off. Clean up the metal shavings a little bit. Now this is key. This is something most guys don't do. We're going to put some Loctite on here and that will keep our stainless steel standoffs from backing out when we have to change the board in the future. So we'll just put a dab on the threads Turn that in there, and then uh, when we go to mount our board on top of here, those standoffs will stay in there. So the other thing we're going to do is we're going to put eight of these in here. Our board has eight mounting spots, and a lot of guys will only put four, which leaves a lot of flex in that board. So we're going to do this eight times. We've sped it up. Now for one of the important things, the cleanup. We're all wrapped up for today. You can see the cleanup's done. Yes, I know other people are going to make a mess in here, but we clean up after ourselves. We don't leave a mess for someone else to clean up. Um, some of the key points, uh, we use the proper screws that uh, will go through this and won't pop off. We put some washers on here so it won't bow out. Same here. This is going to hold the network switch. We want it to be supportive. We grounded these. Uh, we pre-ran our wire. We've got a shutoff for our thermostat here. What happened a couple times years ago is you would think this thermostat would fail safe, but it doesn't. So this heater ran away 
and cook some stuff in here. Um, we've got our door stop up here so the door won't blow off. And I think that's about it for today. So now it's just a waiting game for people to get our concrete pad in. We're gonna run some conduits over to here and back. And uh, next time I'm here, I expect it to look a whole lot different. And we'll probably, uh, two or three more days, have this gate sliding with a gate operator. Hey there, I'm Sean with Accent Alarms. Keep your head on a swivel and be safe out there.